Good morning everyone. It's Friday morning and we're coming again this morning for our Lent readings. This morning our reading is from John chapter 8 and we're going to read from verses 21 down to verse uh, 41. So let's hear God's word together. Later Jesus said to them, I am going away. You will, or sorry, we're going to be actually from John chapter John 8, verse 12, through to verse 30. Apologies. Let's start again. Jesus spoke to the world once more and said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. The Pharisees replied, You're making those claims about yourself. Such testimony is not valid. Jesus told them, These claims are valid even though I make them about myself. For I know where I came from and where I am going, but you don't know this about me. You judge me by human standards, but I do not judge anyone. If I did, my judgment would be correct in every aspect, because I am not alone. The Father who sent me is with me. Your own law says if two people agree about something, their witness is accepted as fact. I am one witness, and my Father who sent me is the other. Where is your father? they asked. Jesus answered, Since you don't know who I am, you don't know who my father is. If you knew me, you would also know my father. Jesus made these statements while he was teaching in the section of the temple known as the treasury, but he was not arrested because his time had not yet come. Later Jesus said to them again, I am going away. You will search for me, but you will die in your sin. You cannot come where I am going. People asked, is he planning to commit suicide? What does he mean you cannot come where I am going? Jesus continued, you are from below, I am from above. You belong to this world, I do not. That is why I say that you will die in your sins. For unless you believe that I am who I claim to be, you will die in your sins. Who are you, they demanded. Jesus replied, the one I have always claimed to be. I have much to say about you and much to condemn, but I won't. For I say only what I have heard from the one who sent me, and he is completely truthful. But they still didn't understand that he was talking about his father. So Jesus said, when you have lifted up the Son of Man on the cross, then you will understand that I am he. I do nothing on my own, but only say what the Father has taught me. And the one who sent me is with me. He is not deserted me, for I always do what pleases him. The many who heard him say these things believed in him. Amen. A lot of John's gospel is Jesus talking. Um, If you've got a red letter Bible then you see a lot of red in it. And it's great to be able to hear what Jesus said to those who were around him. In this section it starts off with Jesus saying, I am the light of the world. It relates back to um, the very start of John's Gospel whenever John writes about um, Jesus and calls him the Word and then he calls him the Light. But what is really interesting in this bit, Jesus talks about the fact that he doesn't judge us. He could do, but he doesn't. A bit like the passage that comes before that about the, the woman caught in adultery. How Jesus doesn't judge her. He simply says to go and sin no more. He wants to encourage us. He wants to help us on our journey to him. If you think about Lent, Lent's all about the journey of Jesus to the cross. um, The journey of Jesus following the will of his Father to die for us, to take away our sins. And all of us are on a journey. Life can be called a journey. But the important part of that journey is the journey of faith and trusting. And that's what Jesus is really trying to encourage these people about today, their journey of faith. That they would trust him, that they would realise that he is the son of God, that he is the one they've been waiting for. And that they would put their hand into his hand and follow him on this journey. At the end of that section, in verse 30, it says, um, Then many who heard him say these things believed in him. So many did accept that and did go on that journey. But some didn't. Some were lost and that's what Jesus was saying. You can't follow me to where I am going. And they are separated from Christ forever. 
God doesn't want us to be separated from him. He wants us to be together. It's a bit like the fact that we are a family here on earth. Families at times fall out. We all do, don't we? Families at times disagree. Families at times there's hurt. But through all of that, we are still family. And it's all about how we reconcile, how we make up with one another, how we come closer to one another again. It's the same in God's family. He wants us all to walk together. Sometimes we'll disagree over things and sometimes we'll, we'll maybe fall out with one another. But let's then come back together again and let's work towards God's glory on this journey together. A journey which took Jesus to the cross. A journey which will bring us ultimately to heaven to be with Christ. A journey that is so important. So this morning, on a Friday morning, whenever the weekend is in front of us, let's pray for that journey. Let's pray together. Father, thank you again for today. Thank you for your goodness uh, to us, each and every one of us. Lord, today, help us to realise that we really need you. And help us to journey with you through this life as we look towards being with you in the future. But Lord, help us as we do that to let your light shine out from us, that our actions would speak of your love, that others, through what we do, would realise that they need you as well and would turn to you. So, Father, thank you. And go with us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for watching this morning. It's been great to have you. Um, just pray that you have a, a restful weekend, whatever you're up to. Uh, we're not here tomorrow morning for this again, but we're back on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock for our service. So if you can join us then, please do so. Or if you can pick it up later on in the day as well. But in the meantime, take care and God bless.